Hey guys, Tomway601, and uh, surprise patch notes day. Um, I'm going to call it an early birthday gift since my birthday's this week. But uh, yeah, we have some patch notes to go over because guess what? We're getting a mid-update update. So I don't know if this update, the one that we've currently been in, just didn't, they didn't have enough time to fix and put enough stuff in, or if they're just crazy and deciding to really load up on the new content. Either way, uh, we have some very exciting notes to go over. Uh, it's kind of a half update, but what's being added is pretty cool. So first things first, uh, the first half of patch notes is going over the campaign that's going on. You know well, and you're well aware that it's the Mines and the Shiraco. We have reviews on those. If you want to go check them out, go ahead and feel free to go check them out down uh, on, on the channel. But what is most important in this update is probably the brand new Pan-Asian fleet that is arriving. Um, not only is destroyers, but some cruisers, not many. I believe it's just enough cruisers to basically get you from tier one up into the tier threes where you uh, get to kind of, you know, split off and start doing the other sorts of ships. Because you know how it's it's usually tier three or tier four that you start getting those uh, those destroyers. It's tier three, right? Yeah, it's tier tier three or is it tier two? I'm not sure. Anyways, uh, basically, uh, there will be a, uh, a a brand new Pan Asian destroyers, but they'll start with the tier one Xi'an, uh, being effectively an American cruiser Chester. Uh, cruisers are a standard center point for destroyer lines uh, and peaking with the tier seven Hasheng. Uh, it's arriving along with two new commanders, which is excellent because now we're finally going to have uh, dedicated destroyer commanders for these ships, which is why I might have gone and bought out the Loyang because I had a feeling something like this was going to be happening. Anyways, let's go over the two new uh, destroyer, the two new commanders. The first one is Sa Zabing. Uh, his base rate is tin opener. He's going to increase your ship's AP ricochet angle by up to 8% which is nice, uh, kind of providing the same sort of service and the same sort of, uh, of ability that Von Essen uh, uh, gives you, but instead this is going to be a percentage-based one as opposed to a uh, degrees-based one, which is interesting. I need to do the math on which one of these will end up being uh, overall better. Then uh, both of these guys have a unique uh, third skill, called Knuckle Duster. It's going to increase the damage to enemy ship engines and rudders by up to 10%, reduce detectability of your torpedoes by up to 25% at the expense of reduced damage uh, by 10, which will be up to 10%. So an interesting kind of skill right there. Uh, the other commander is Deng Shi Chong. Uh, his, his base trait is called Quantum of Solace. It's going to increase torpedo damage and destroyer concealment, which sounds like a pretty powerful base trait and one that I definitely look forward to to, uh, you know, trying out. Now, what is the hook? What is the unique thing about these destroyers? Well, they have deep water torpedoes. So what that means is these torpedoes can't hit destroyers since destroyers have a low draft in the water. They can, however, uh, hit, uh, do, 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 do. they can hit cruisers and battleships and they tend to be a little bit stealthier than your regular torpedoes and inflict pretty good damage. So, that's a cool little twist to the game. Of course, uh, I think what's even more interesting is the tier six and the tier seven of these uh, destroyers can go ahead and trade in their smoke for radar, which will be absolutely banana. So uh, look forward to those new ships because uh, I certainly am. Now, the next thing that we get is the Bureau. In fact, we're gonna get two new Bureau projects. And I know what you're thinking, it must be the Minotaur. And you're wrong, actually. Minotaur is still not out in this sub update, which leaves it to be uh, resonated, resigned to the final update in the last like 10 days of the year. So, so get, get ready. But we do have two new Bureau projects. The first one is for the USN Battleship Montana, which uh, I, I definitely look forward to. Four three-barreled guns, very solid torpedo protection. It's just, it's going to be an American battleship. I am very much looking forward to that. The other project uh, is going to be the Dragon Fleet project. I assume this is just going to be kind of in the same vein as like the, the other 
kind of themed updates where it gives you a bunch of boosts, probably a couple of commander crates along the way to make sure that you have all of the commanders for your dear for the new Pan Asian ship line. Which hey, I'm definitely okay with uh, one that burns some. So I, I'm like one that you're able to burn and just get a couple of bonus items and extras here. I, for one, have an empty bureau. Currently, I finished off Tashkent the other week, so I am now completely empty in a bureau. So having two bureau projects available to me, I'm more than happy to see. I do really like the little bonus, get extra supplies and whatnot from them, and I very much look forward to doing that. The final uh, little thing is going to be we are going to get a new premium ship, the Strasbourg. It's going to be a tier six premium battleship of the Dunkirk class. Uh, so, yeehaw, that, that'll be a fun one. I don't know if I will have a review for it on time. Uh, if they follow the pattern of how everything has been, that premium will be the week after next. Of course, this this little update next Monday, guys. Next Monday, it is it is a very exciting time to play some warships, but. Uh, the, the week after, I will be on vacation. Um, I will be far away from my computer uh, and not be playing Warships. I'm going to try to put out some content then, but just a heads up for now. The final little thing is they are going to be bringing back some other things to the shop. The uh, Godzilla versus Kong collab content and those commanders will be brought back in case you want, uh, you know, two useless commanders. And then also... Uh, as the Arpeggio of Blue Steel, Steel Ars Nova range, which those had some interesting ones in there and uh, maybe wor worth a look if you uh, if you want to, you know, invest in some. So yeah, and the final piece of news that I save might be one that upsets some of you, but uh, it is a source of celebration for me myself. The key will be coming to Global XP. That's right, the uh, Japanese battleship that uh is like i don't know it's special it was in the it was the ultra rare christmas crate ship um of i believe last year and uh, it is now up for global xp if you're someone who uh blew a lot of money trying to uh, obtain that ship i am sorry that it is now something that can be obtained for free but um i think that shows you uh when and where you should spend your money in this game uh but yeah, that's that's the last thing. Anyways, guys, that is everything. If you like the video, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Uh, I, for one, am looking forward to this update because it will be next Monday, which uh, is real soon. Um, yeah, it's, it's going to be a good one. Anyways, guys, if you like the video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And of course, I hope you have a great rest of your day. See ya.